So in this video I'll be showing you how I built these air cannons and then doing some demoing. Now the original reason for why I built these air cannons was at school I did a business course and at the end of that term we had to come up with our own business idea for a market day at school and my idea was pretty much building these air cannons and then people would pay and they would try and shoot targets and if they hit the right targets uh, they won a prize. Now for the market day at school I built three cannons Two of them were made from fire extinguishers and shot nerf darts and then the other one was just an air cannon and that shot tennis balls. Now I'm going to do a rundown of the big cannon and how I built that and then I'll show you how I built the smaller ones. So this whole cannon here is made from PVC pipe. Now the chamber is 100mm pipe and it's just got a screw on cap. Now I'll show you what that's for later. Anyway, so I've got a whole lot of fittings and parts to take it from a 100mm pipe down to a 40mm pipe which is connected to the big valve. Now from the outside of the valve I've just got some more fittings and parts to take it up to 80mm pipe and this pipe here happens to fit a tennis ball really nicely which is why I ended up using it. Now the reason I use screw on caps is for two main reasons. Number one is they've got thicker walls. The second reason is I can buy a whole of these and then put different fittings into the end so I can make this modular. So one of the fittings can be a tie valve, uh, one of them can be a valve for a compressor and it can all just be fit for different purposes. Now moving on to the frame that holds the cannon. So this is really simple, it's just made out of wood. I've just got an axis here which this cannon can rotate on and then underneath it is just a big bearing which this whole thing can turn on. And the main reason for that is just to make it easy to operate. And now onto the valve. So I ended up adding this metal bar to it and this is just simply bolted on and the only reason for this is just to give you a bit more leverage to make it easier to open and close the valve to release the air. The other benefit feature that I put on this cannon is just to be able to take off the barrel and then swap it out with different diameter of pipe depending on what you're shooting. Now for the second cannon. Now this here as you can tell is made from a fire extinguisher. The main reason I use the fire extinguisher is because I had a few that I got for free and a cool thing about a fire extinguisher and turning into a cannon is there's two things already here for you. Number one is an air chamber. The second thing is a valve of some description to release the air. Now at the end of my fire extinguisher I've just got a compressor valve that just got welded and then for the barrel itself I've just got a, some gardening fittings going to some electrical conduit and I've just got some foam here as spacers just to keep that barrel flat and straight. Now before I fire these cannons I'm just going to run you through my setup. So I've just got a tire gauge and that's for two reasons. Number one so I can see the gauge. Number two on my cannon I've got a tire valve and this gauge will just be an adaption between the compressor hose and the valve. Now I'm using a compressor but if you guys are in a remote place if you're doing this for fishing you could always use a bike pump or you could use just a wee 12 volt compressor that plugs into the cigarette lighter in your car. Now I'll be running these cannons at 60 psi. Few of this may vary and be very careful. Compressed air is dangerous and they, they can explode so be very careful. Now I've already got a tennis ball in the barrel. I'm just going to fill the chamber with compressed air and then we'll fire it. All right, now for firing it. Now as you can see that tennis ball went pretty far. Now if you increase the pressure, of course it'll go further. I want to keep it safe, so I'm staying at 60 psi. But anyway, now moving on to the other cannons. These fire extinguisher cannons, I'll just be hooking them directly to the compressor, and that's just because of the fitting I've got. I can't really use the tire gauge, so I'm just going to use this. So I've got a load of nerf dart in these. I'm running these at 60 psi as well, so let's see how far they go. Now for test two. Now for you guys to get a perspective on just how far this shoots, I'm just going to use a normal Nerf gun. Now this here is how far the Nerf gun went and this is how far the cannon went. Now this video here was very brief, it was very basic, I didn't go into too much detail of how I built these air cannons, but if you guys want to find out more I might make a follow up video. Now in that I'll just cover uh, exactly how I built these cannons, the parts, why I use them, other options like using solenoid valves, uh, different chambers and things and different options you have. Anyway, I thought I'll keep this video basic. 
Now on to the outro. Thank you all for watching. I really did enjoy building these air cannons. And if you want to check out some of my other content, there'll be links in the description. I've also made a playlist of some of my other projects. So check those out. Anyway, uh, see you guys next time.